Hi friends, hi families, how are you? It's Mr. Horton. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful summer, that it's relaxing and restful. Um, I, I have been uh, doing well. I've, I've had a great summer so far, and uh, I'm at the point of my summer where I start to lose track of what day it is. That's always a good sign for a teacher, I guess. You know, and uh, it got me thinking about a classroom where um, some people say, well, you have certain things you do on certain days, and it's really not that way. I mean, the dandelion contest that we had in the spring takes place when we find the first dandelion. The, the fall party takes place sometime in October or November, usually when we, we feel like it. Uh, you know, we take on the gingerbread house construction, not usually on the last day before winter break, but it's sometime in December. And uh, sometimes we, we're really flexible and uh, we, we kind of go with the feeling, really. And uh, this time of year, I'm starting to feel like you know, I'm ready to go back, and I'm getting excited. Uh, I'm sending this message to all my second and third graders and my former Omegas that are heading off to fourth grade. I, I'm really excited to see uh, how your year turns out uh, for those in the classroom with us again and for those that are uh, moving up or moving on. Um, it's really exciting. And I wanted to reach out to you and let you know that I'm thinking of all of you and uh, I, I can't wait to uh, see, see you again. And uh, of course, if there's anything I can do, uh, to help you prepare for next year, you can always reach out to me right now. Um, I'm sending a list of uh, some ideas that you can start to consider uh, before we go back here. Uh, as I was reminded the other day, school starts at 7.15. So I'm going to probably have to start getting to bed a little earlier. Uh, maybe that's in, uh, something you'll need to work on too. We'll see. Anyways, I, I hope you're all doing well. I miss you terribly, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye, friends.